Kazams, and welcome to Starlink Battlefrontless. That's right, Starlink. Remember Starlink? It was that cool Toys to Life spaceship game. In which I think this was probably the last big budget Toys to Life game. After your Skylanders, your Lego Dimensions. What other Toys to Life games? But should I think of. Oh, yeah, your Disney Infinities. After those sort of went and. After went and said goodbye, Ubisoft were like. We have a game that we're going to make. We made Sterling. And this game has a bit of a... This game has a bit of a weird content history, you could say, of its release. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4. Uh, uh, I'm playing the PlayStation 4 version using my PlayStation 5. Uh... I have the PlayStation 4 discs upstairs with the spaceship mount that you put on. But for today, due to time constraints, I only have, say, about an hour or so to stream. But uh, hopefully tomorrow we could... Uh, Saturday, because tomorrow I'm going to do Lego. We're going to alternate between these games. Yeah, I own this game twice, both on the Switch and on PlayStation. And I guess digitally as well. So three so two and a half copies, we could say. Uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't count digital as, you know, half. It is I own three versions of this. And I have all the physical toys that I think ever got released. All the spaceships, all the guns, the pilots, everything. Now, I do believe that this game was a... Uh, I don't think it was that big of a f hit. They didn't make a sequel, but it did have DLC. Not in the form of more physical uh, pieces, more toys, but they had like a big update, and they added more ships, pilots, guns, that you could just get on just digital. It was like Wave 2. It was like Season 2 of sorts. And... For the Nintendo Switch version, they did a big collaboration with Nintendo. If you got the Nintendo Switch version, it came with Fox McCloud and an R Wing. It had an official tie in with Star Fox, where the Switch version has a complete set of side story, has a complete like extra missions with Fox chasing down, uh, start taking out the wolf in his group, Star Wolf. And they added more. I think they, they added more pilots as well. I think in the uh, in the second wave. But we're gonna just play the base. Uh, I guess say the uh, un Nintendo fied version. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Like yeah, I think it was like they got like they got like. I think it was like that one like. It was that point where Ubisoft were very buddy buddy with Nintendo. They did like Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and then they did a uh, I think it was Sparks for Hope. Like that was last year. Like that last that was last year, and it was received positively because you know, hey, you get Nintendo and Ubisoft. They've they're close, like. Rayman Raving Rabbits was like a Wii game. One of the big Wii launch games at the time. And I think was it Rayman... Rayman Legends was a, originally just going to be a Wii U exclusive. Unfortunately, I think the higher-ups were like, no, we need to have that on every console delayed by like six months. Like it was going to be the biggest Wii U smash hit. Just Some things just... Some things just kind of... You just feel a bit sad for them. But now... We're going to just play this cool space game. Because I have a tradition... 
mostly some traditions some aprils that we've some months of aprils we usually did like a toys to life game and i feel like we're just going to honor tradition with starlink battle for atlas trademark Well, you have... How to use Starlink. Ubisoft Challenges. Ubisoft Club. But we're going to start a new game. Now, you can see that we have our four usual difficulties. We have easy, normal, hard, very hard. So your combat challenges and allegiance spread. Well, yeah. But we're going to go with normal difficulty. It offers a balanced playthrough, uh, considering both strategy and story. Great for first playthroughs. For advanced players, this is the players more vulnerable on combat or certain. But I just want to stick it to normal. So let's have a good, uh, fun space tastic time in space for about an hour or so ish. So, we're going to play digitally. As, I, as far as I can see, like that slots into where on my PlayStation, I'd ha that would be the earphone jack. That, the headphone jack. So that's how it works. It looks very like... But... I also forgot to tell you, another cool factor is, since I have a DualShock 4 controller, I can hook this up to the PlayStation here, hook up the, hook up the mount, scan all my items, and you have a one week to use them digitally. Which is a very cool thing, it's like, Oh, I scanned it. Now I have to rescan it. It's like, no, bro. If you just play digitally, you just keep it. So if you, say, go away for, like, a weekend to a convention. Say you got the Nintendo Switch version. You scan. You, like, attach. You register all that stuff. And you've got a week of all that equipment on your save file. There you go. Which is quite possibly the smartest thing ever. But we're going to play digitally because we actually have ac we actually have access to not all of these. Yeah, some of these were the uh, DLC characters. So we could play as Mason, or we could play as <laughs> Judge, a mysterious liquid life form in search of his origins. Judge has the power to slow time itself. Though I mostly used a uh, shade. A uh, fast-talking smuggler and feared pirate in Atlas. Shade uh, knows how to escape uh, detection and disappear. Yeah, I just... So you can hide the locked parts. Or not. Orbital Strike, the genius adventure... The genius adventure of Sterling technology. Mason can call in a wide, uh, in a wide area blast from the Equinox. So we have a uh, increase of speed. Huh. We have Levy McRae, a daredevil and chill seeker. Uh, Levi uh, runs headlong into danger and somehow survives. Danger zone. But the power to slow time sounds pretty cool. Plus, then again, we are just a big, big floaty tough dude. So yeah, well, let's let's just play as judge. He seems fun. And now we have the ships. As you can see, there some of these we don't have access to. It will take you to the PlayStation Store if you want to buy them. So that's the Senate. Uh, that's that's the base ship you get in the in the base game. But 
we have the Neptune ship, and this is this is Judge's ship. It's ultra heavy, because you know it's a big tough lad. But big on defense, not good on speed, but energy seems pretty uh pretty good. But you know, we've got like some sort of class we got some ship mods. The game already gave us a few. Our first trophy we haven't reflect okay cool. More defense. More energy, more ener as far as I remember energy I think it was just for like your shields recharging. Don't worry, we're gonna get more uh, stuff eventually. Yeah, AK, okay, you gotta, you know, play the game, unlock more. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use uh, this ship here. Now we get to link a weapon. Now, these are the only weapons we've got. But there, as you can see, there's way too many. So what I would recommend is the flame shower and the frost barrage, which are the base guns you get. Because sometimes, oh, that thing can only be destroyed by fire. Do you have a fire weapon? Y yes, I do. So yeah, we've got like kinetic vortex stasis but the idea of you could free something and then just go pop so yeah the idea is we're gonna have flame shower and frost barrage as you can see we can also flip it same with the wings you can also flip the wings back but as you can see we can definitely modify these weapons Uh, yes, please. I'll take that. Now you're talking. <laughs> All right. Social? Oh, yeah. So the other day, added like in arena mode and races. There's like a lot here, actually. And we've got the classic iconic photo mode. So, yeah, pilot skills. You know, we've got a, the iconic skill tree. Time heals. Judge moves through time quicker than as well as recharging the shield when time shift is active. So, you know, we got a we got a lot. So, you know, there, there's a lot in this game. Oh, here we, yeah. After making contact with an alien that crashed on Earth, astrophysicist Victor St. Ground secretly recruited a team of pilots to explore the stars. He named the alien Judge and called the team the Sterling Initiative. Aboard their Nova-powered mothership, the team arrives in the Atlas Star System, seeking answers about Judge's origins. We're here. Atlas. Jewel of the Pleiades. Look! Welcome to Atlas. Oh, man, I'm gonna get so many hits back on Earth. No, you're not. Levi? No one's supposed to know about this. I'm looking to change that. Chase, Levi, one of you will need to be outside to help Hunter with the escort. Okay. Wait! He said one of us. <laughs> hey! Scans off St. Grand. It's 
incredible. I can't believe you've been doing this for a whole year. Our third trip hasn't gotten old yet. It was Alkiani last, now Atlas. The artifact we're collecting here might just be the breakthrough we need. We're closer than ever now. I know it. Proximity warning. Looks like our delivery is coming in hot. Right. Let's get our ears on. Can you hear me? What happened? Do you have it? Yeah, but these guys don't like it when you steal from them. Sensitive types. Could use a little help here. She's not gonna make it. Get to the Equinox. We're coming. I'll man the bridge. Judge, take Mason with you to the hangar. We need to buy time for me to jumpstart the engine. Are you sure? Maybe I should help you in the reactor. They've never used Starlink before. Go show them what it can do. Take my ship. You're ready. Okay. So the game now officially begins. Okay, guys, they're coming in hot, so stay frosty and bring that delivery home. I concur, Razor. Shane, what's your status? Single. Everybody here has got leaf and lizard brains. I meant, how are you holding up? I'm still alive, aren't I? Good. St. Grand's got another minute on the reactor. Get ready to wrap it up. Meanwhile, bad guys are being bad guys. St. Grant, how's it going down there? I'm almost there. Tell them to hang on a few minutes longer. Breach in reactor hull. Everyone, back to the ship! The reactor's been breached! On our way. Just one more left.
no, 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 no! Yeah, the stakes just went. Judge is went from Judge is me. Equinox pilots, come in. The Equinox has crashed. Judge is here, Hunter. I repeat, the Equinox has crashed. All pilots. I sense that there is interference. Online. All systems on reserve power. Sage, locate the Equinox. Negative. Equinox Nova depleted. All long range communications disrupted. I must find the Equinox. Yeah, you can do like a little space jump. Yeah, so we have on the ground action as well. In a sort of open Aggressors. sandbox. Interesting. Recommend short range weaponry. So that's an imp. We're gonna fight a lot of them. An exit. The Equinox. New aggressors. Enemy analysis complete. Recommend elemental combination. Their intelligence seems primitive, yet their composition is advanced. Gone. All of them. Judge! Is that you? Hello, Chase. I am glad you are alive. How is everyone else? It's okay. We're all here. That is good news. We must keep moving and find Saint Grand. The longer we stay here, the more I fear for his safety. We can't. Those freaks who took Saint Grand also stole our reactor. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. We cannot stay static. There must be a way. Maybe there is. Check your map. your ship. You should be able to see everything within the scan radius. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory, for now. Razor, I am picking up an alien signal nearby. You think someone's out there? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now, but once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. So as you can see, in a true Ubisoft fashion, we've got spires, ruins, wrecks, and wonders. Their species, their sites, and their samples. Uh, oh, look, you got a common mod and 5,000 fun bucks. I will investigate and acquire fuel. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that's out there a bunch of killer robots. Killer robots? We've seen what? Drakes and a couple of Cyclopses? Hold up, hold up. What? Wait, th this is normal to you people? Get used to it or go home. Legion's been here way longer than the rest of us. Now, there should be a... I don't think I can... I'm just trying to figure out. Where is the... Oh. We got, like, little bits. Yeah, but we will come back to these things eventually. It's fine, it's fine. I'm fine. Okay. 
They have a little shield, so you can just go boop boop. But other than that, like... I mean, this game runs really well! Like, if this game came out at the height of the, uh... Toys to Life, uh, craze, probably would have made a lot. Structure. Do you think they will be... civil? Let's hope so. Go say hi. We'll be here if you need it. Oh, good, you're back. Wait, you're not Thicket. Now, oh, where's my assistant when you need him? Greetings. I am Judge, and I wish to avoid any hostilities. I belong to a team of explorers. Our flagship crashed, and now we require fuel. Can you help us? Hmm? Oh, sorry. My missing assistant has me all flustered. You haven't seen a squat, leafy fellow wandering around, have you? I have seen no such being. Though I believe this could be an opportunity to help each other. So we offer help? I sent Thicket to put down a beacon, and he set it right next to an imp hive. Stars knows where he is, but I need that hive removed. Then I can help you with, uh, fuel, was it? I will eliminate them. Dude, you just made friends with an alien! That's like historical! Bro, I am an alien. Iguana. Guess all those sci-fi books I read were right, huh? Iguana? That better be a compliment, flyboy. Oh, yeah. Iguanas are beautiful creatures. Very majestic. Uh-huh. I am confirming that I am searching for an imp hive. <laughs> Imps. Such nasty little machines. Of all the Legion, they irk me the most. I find the best way to handle them is, well, not to handle them at all. But I hear combustion works. So... fire? I think we can handle that. Luckily, we got fire in plenty. There we are. Enemy analysis complete. Structural weakness identified. Set the son of a bitch on fire. And also... I have located the imp hive. So, yeah. No imps, just the way I like it. I have some Electrum waiting here for you, as promised. Oh, uh, our ship actually takes Nova. Nova? Where did you say you were from? Well, most of us are from a planet called Earth. I do not know my origins. Hmm. Well, the only way to get Nova here is to salvage the core from an extractor. But, uh, well, it should appear on your map. Interesting. Now that we have helped this observatory, our visibility on the planet has increased. There's the Legion Extractor. Looks like that's our target. Set destination. So yeah, we have a... You know... Oh, look! We have all these uh, places to go and do. An electrum vein, which is just a place to get money. And you're like, oh, okay, so... Zoom in for more preciseness, but... I promise you that there's more to this game than just, you know, a planet in space. There are multiple planets, but there's only one space. Word of warning. Extractors are Legion machines. Before my time, they were easy to salvage. But since the reawakening, they defend themselves most efficiently. But you all seem desperate. They're competent enough. Just bring the core to me and we'll be done. That is not a normal storm. Ah, yes. The extractor should be just inside. Starlink database updated. That's a 
That's a that's a lot, all right. Enemy analysis complete. Siege weaponry recommended. Losing machine. Are we convinced our strategy is sound? It's the only idea we got. First, you'll need to target the nodes along the perimeter. Aim for the red power cells. Once those are down, the extractor's core will be exposed. Kaboosh. Uh, time to suck. Time to the suck up the jelly. Eliminated. Sweet. Now grab that core and get out of there. I have it. Interstellar. Nova is such a rarity. You could make quite a fortune with your skills. I don't get it. Can't you just make more Nova? If only we could. Sadly, while there is plenty of Electrum to be found, no one knows how to refine it. So the only Nova left is inside those machines. And well, we're not all as brave as you are. Wow. I wonder if St. Grant knows about this. What was that? Our captain, St. Grant. He learned how to create Nova. That's how we got here. Your captain can make Nova? My stars, why didn't you say so? Knowledge of that kind could upset the entire system. And you say he's missing? That's why we're here. I see. Fascinating. Well, let's see if we can get some cash from these little nodes. But yeah, we are going to have a nice space playthrough. What is that thing up ahead? Oh. It's some kind of tower. I wonder who built it. Oh, this? Oh, yeah, we should have a we should have a look at this. So yeah, that's a spire. You just uh, solve a little puzzle, and you get some goodies. You go and say, take out, you know, you know, you got these little, what are called ruins, but just refer to just call them ruins, settlements. You know, just you gotta just scoop up the good, the good stuff. We have an empire there. Uh, we got, uh, we got ourselves one there. But it tells you like, you need a fire weapon in order to do that puzzle. You got a fire weapon handy? You don't? Ah, oh, pooey. There's also um, a database of sorts. And tells you when you discover the them, so. Not very much like Mass Effect, but it does give you, like. some lore. Which I truly appreciate. We have the Forgotten Legion. Yeah, who were the Legion, actually? This robotic army was created to serve the Wardens. 
but when her masters suddenly vanished millennia ago, the Legion fell dormant. Now something or someone has reawoken them from their slumber. So yeah, we've just got... Just take it for like the Vex, but not the Vex from Destiny. Warden Spires. These massive towers are scattered over the worlds of Atlas. Their exact function is a mystery, but some suspect they are tools once used by the Warden in terraforming of these planets. As they appear to relay signals between Legion units, like ancient radio towers. So yeah, we have the uh, the expedition. It's a scientific organization dedicated to mapping, exploring, and studying the worlds of Atlas. Expeditionaries uh, make useful allies thanks to their scanning technology and their engineering skills. Preserving and understanding life is their top priority. And the observatories are powerful scanners and sensor beacons to uh, and sensor beacons to offer their allies. A greater view of the surrounding area as peaceful scientists they are ill-equipped for combat focus on identifying targets from afar rather than facing them head on and you get the little researchers Reaches, researchers are the main workforce of the expedition uh, they observe and sample the environment around around their outposts and return them to analyze their findings they are equipped with specialized scientific equipment but have little ways of defense yet you'll see them going around As you can see, we have uh, all these upgrades. Judge is a powerful alien being discovered by St. Grant in the Earth's Arctic. Well, I've seen this movie before. Uh, he, he seems to be a living form of Nova, which inspired St. Grant to invent humanity's first faster than light technology. Humans' in interactions sometimes confuse him, but he is gentle, empathetic, and kind. Uh, we have... Neptune is the name of for the gas giant. Yeah, Neptune is the name of the gas giant, the age of the solar system, capturing Judge's mysterious and distant nature, as well as his distinct blue tint. Its unique design is meant to interface directly with his liquid form, which can feel somewhat strange for other pilots who strap in. That makes makes sense. And that's the Nadir. This is a Shades ship, named uh, for her mother. Is a clever, quick, and ruthless. Is she originally a stolen space? Originally a stolen passenger craft. Nadir, uh, Nadir has uh, been enhanced with so many legal aftermarket upgrades. It totally resembles the original form. Yeah, that's the actual like wings. It's like. It is literally just out of duct tape and glue. And we have all this tactical data, all this technology and whatnot. Shield RAM. Yeah, now we've got all these extractors. Like. But as you can see, we're definitely going to be adding more, especially with the Atlas discoveries. Like, we have like clearly well, space, so that's one area. Right, so it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have like nine zones, you could say. Would I recommend this game? I would say yes. This game desperately needs uh, more fans. And I wonder how much people actively played it when it got added to the PlayStation like plus Ubisoft catalogue. I mean, it constantly goes on sale every now and then. Yeah, let's deliver this to the uh, observatory. Oh, you're back. Here is the core. 
As promised. Outstanding. Extracting the Nova should take just a moment. Hmm. I'll need to arrange for a replacement. A replacement? What do you mean by replacement? Well, you have a captain to find, don't you? A captain that can make Nova no less. Your crew could use a local expert, and I'm not too shabby in a fight either. A logical argument. Then it sounds like a sabbatical is in order. I will meet you there. Just have to find that darn assistant. So yeah, <laughs> he's like, yep, oh, right, you random mook take over. Your fleet is in optimal condition. No need for repairs right now. Oh yeah, you might want to like uh, swap out your spaceships. Yeah, if you like, it would be like a game over, bro. If you don't have any more spaceships. Um, no thanks. I don't remember placing a request for that. I have the Nova. I have also acquired a companion. Really? Guess it doesn't hurt. Well, nice work. See you soon. And you're like, oh, what's that here? It's common mineral van. I mean, you can only hold up so much. You can only hold like five metal. I am close now. Good. Once we get the Nova loaded, we should be good to go. And then we find Saint Grant. That's right. Yeah, unless he's. You know. Levi? What the heck? What? I hope he isn't. I'm just saying. Don't worry, he's our captain. We won't let him down. Apparently that's called bone fruit. Real appetizing. It's not a plant, but a kind of parasite. Ugh. We'll just need all the organic material we can get. You know, it's good in case we need to, like, scan or... I don't, I don't know, we, I think we sell this, so... Judge is here. What is the proper procedure for transferring the Nova? Up the butt. Open your ship's computer. You should be able to launch the repair sequence from the Equinox screen. But I want to get on top of my spaceship. Hello, I'm on top of my home. So yeah, we can upgrade this. Nice. If we find any more goodies around here, maybe we can upgrade the Equinox even more. Until then, let's see if this works. This was a precision strike. They must have tracked our core through the hall. Well, this isn't enough Nova to draw anyone's attention, that's for sure. But if Mason's calculations are right, should be just enough to get us airborne again. Yeah, or just enough to be blown to pieces. <laughs> Hit it, Chase. So begins. Flight capabilities restored. That's your cue. Meet us in orbit, and we'll go over the next steps. Hmm. Back to That's the stars. So yeah, we could also, you know, just fly normally. Uh, 
Welcome to space, mother hugger. Starlink database updated. Now. Waited so long for this. I foresaw this moment many years ago. The wardens showed me, and now the gift appears. The time has come to harvest Nova. Nova. When the Warden Gods departed so long ago, they took with them the secrets to Nova. You must feed my legion. Look, if you want Nova, it's no trouble. But first, I'm gonna need to get back to my crew. Your crew is lost. Show me how to make Nova, and you will kneel before your warden. Good news, the swarm's a suppository. Listen. I got contacts. They might know who took St. Grant. Let's talk to them first. This is the only intel I trust. The Legion's got a hierarchy, and orders gotta come from somewhere. Let's crack a few more open and see where that gets us. That's not very diplomatic, but it could work. What are we waiting for? Let's get out there. Oh. Come on. Oh. For turn to space. Hold on. I need to show you something. Open your ship's computer. Uh, okay. Each time you master a weapon or ship, you can come here to gain new abilities and advantages in combat. Okay, oh, we have a bit of a, we have some half a second of invulnerability, that's cool. Oof, apologies for that. Stasis overload blasting nearby, okay, yeah, that's cool. Siege weapons and projectiles dealing more damage. More defense. Or some cool, like, a uh, little BOOM! I use my cool power move? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at this. We... Select a defeated outlaw base in the star map and... Fast travel. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, you got to choose what, where, what should be used to upgrade. Yeah, you gotta do more of those. Amp on your pull force to make it easier to pluck objects. That's cool. Mod foundry, mod fusion. See you now. So the Warren Cypher, that's what we're trying to make. Understood. So like I was saying, the imps on Karit and the drakes that attack Shade are all Legion. So the Legion have to be connected to St. Grant's capture. An interesting theory. 
But our research points to the fact that the Legion are not intelligent. Which means someone's controlling them. We just need to find out who. Wow. You guys sound just like a prospector right now. That Haven old-timer was always on about the Legion hierarchy. Great. Let's go talk to him. Wait, 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 wait. I meant you guys are nuts. Are all humans this dense? Look, I saw the ones who took St. Grand. They weren't robots. If this guy's got a theory about that, we should hear it. Fine. If you guys want to talk to Eli, go ahead. But I'm warning you, he's a little on the cranky side. You sure that's not just when he's talking to you? Oh, so you do have a sense of humor. Good to know. Oh, one last thing. Your hyperdrive is back up. Just don't run into any asteroids. We only got so many spare parts around here. I will use it wisely. As I think, once we talk with Eli, or once we get our... Okay, that's a lot of, uh... Warning. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Yeah, you gotta, like, maneuver these traps. Legion Drake's detected. Hyperdrive disrupted. Pursuing a vessel. Sage, allow me to speak. Channel open. Greetings, pilot. I am Judge. You seem to require assistance. Beat it before I beat you. I do not see how that is possible. You are outnumbered and in danger. Uh, what do you know, Snoop Brain? Maybe I've learned Legion into my trap. But so long as you're here, I'll let you take a few pot shots at him. I will take care of them. Even though you got a puny ship. You are mistaken. Our ships are roughly the same size. Ha! Feisty too! I like it. Maybe we'll meet again. He seemed nice. Such an aggressive and deranged being. And yet he seemed to offer a kind of friendship. You're lucky. Most outlaws only got one code. Shoot first, talk never. Man, this place is a freaking danger zone! It's Atlas, kid. Our space has all kinds of loot caches and shipwrecks. And if it's worth picking over, it's worth fighting over. Why else do you think those drakes were after me? Indeed. We expeditions stay within our planetary gravity wells for a reason. Even the prospectors rarely see space these days. See? Even the eggheads got street smarts. It's the way we live. Or else we don't. I have arrived in Haven. Shane, please tell me where your friend is located. Just keep your eye out for an old refinery. Should be near a river. I understand. So, Shade, have you known this guy long? No offense, but you don't seem like someone who makes friends with, well, anyone. Hey. I never said we were friends. We met back when he was still taking jobs. Used to be one of the baddest bounty hunters around. Used to be? Eli's like 300 years old. Saw too much of the world and stopped making sense of it, I guess. Always ranting about the world being secretly run by Krakna or whatever. One day he just packed it in and set up his own digs. Sounds like me. When I started developing Starlink, I tried to get funding. Everyone thought I was crazy. Well, jury's still out on that. 
so we're gonna see what Eli has wants us to do. Clearly, we'll get there eventually. As you can see, I'm just cutting a straight line through all this. Which is pretty funny. Starlink database updated. I have located the refinery. Right there. You're on private property. Move along before you make another mistake. I understand why you are hostile, but I mean you no harm. I am searching for answers about the Legion. My associate, Shade, said you might have some. Shade? That meter never listened to a word I said. I do not understand. Does this mean you can provide me with information on the Legion? Huh? Here's the deal. I ain't in the business of being made a fool. You want me to play along? You're gonna have to make it worth my while. Okay. Alright, we'll offer help. My refinery's been combing the area for minerals, but there's a couple of types we're still missing. You scare up a rare one for me. Maybe we talk. I will take care of it. Sounds Dude, fair. That's awesome! Another alien, bro! For the win! Just remember why we're here. Friends are good. Information is better. <laughs> Warning. Pricklebur attached. Throw or attack the Pricklebur to dislodge it. Oh, stop! I'm not an enemy! Yeah, I'm fixing up, bro. Much appreciated, pal. Thought I was a goner for sure. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, you can also do this. You can scan. Look at that plumage. Partial scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. All right, you're looking for a shiny rock about half the size of your ship. Chip off a chunk and bring it on back. <laughs> Curious. Oh no, I, I have alerted enemies. Now I'm good. There's your space mail. Uh, here you go. Maybe we have a little flag. our captain, whom we call St. Grant. Doubt it. Grax doesn't like to show his face. Is Grax the being that sent Drakes to attack us? Drakes are his eyes and ears. He wouldn't have come himself unless they spotted something real pretty. Seems you piqued his interest. Why don't you help us both out and see for yourself? The 
Legion Drake crashed here not too long ago. You hacked that core of his, and that'll give you an idea about how the Legion and Grax talk. Just let me know what you find. Okay, we can definitely do this. Back into this crashed Drake while well, fighting off some Legion. I am on it. Definitely after this level we will, um, well, mission will end it here and other than that this is like a cool, just a fun, I was gonna say like, not a Saturday morning cartoon vibe, but it's like, yeah, let's go fight some aliens, robots, sure. Three, two, one, drop. That info you want's lodged inside, so you'll need to hack it. Just make sure you stick close by, otherwise that hack will sever. Good luck. Then the classic holds the point. King of the hill. I will take care of it. You think it's this Grax guy? Huh, what an unfortunate name to have. You're giving Eli too much credit. I think he believes it's actually Grax controlling the Legion. Like, the literal Grax. Dude, I'm sorry. I am so lost. What's a Grax? Ah, a formidable creature. Legend has it he was born hundreds of years ago in a forgotten tomb. Or he lives on the sun and communes with the ancient wardens. Depends on the story. Oh, so he's the boogeyman. But like, real? It's just a tale outlaws tell each other. I wouldn't worry. Now, funny enough, he's real. And this game is pretty beautiful, and I would like to see the actual like profits this game made. I know I will never get to see those numbers, but I'm just trying to think. Did this get a Steam release? It might have gotten a Steam release. Yeah, it's all digital, but I'd love to just see you know sub player numbers. Well, here's the thing. I oh. Pricklebur attached. Throw or attack the Pricklebur to dislodge it. Because I bought this game, as I said, I bought I have this game when I bought it twice. Where, hey, look, it's like twenty euro in Smiths, and I'm like, I have sure massive structure in the distance. Ah, that is a warden spire, a relic of a long forgotten era once said to hold valuable treasures to those who dare disturb it. However, they haven't been active for centuries. Still, they do remain well guarded. So you're telling me the Legion army is controlled by an old tower? That's where the signal leads. Perhaps we will soon find out why. Okay. The spire appears to react to my weaponry. Perhaps another weapon will also have some effect. 
the spire is opening. Fascinating. I'm reading a very faint power signal. Imagine the data we could collect if we add power to the other spires. For now, let's just grab what's inside and see what we find. My stars. That's advanced warden technology. A modification once used to specialize their ancient spacecrafts. An interesting find. I would like to use it. Ah, indeed. I believe it could integrate with our ships quite well. In fact, if the other spires are active, there may be several modifications we could use. Well, why don't we give this mod a shot? Open your ship's computer. Any mods we collect will show up here. You can use them to beef up your ship and tune your weapons to your liking. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay, so... What's the next Sweet. on the chopping block? So what about the signal? The drake definitely pinged the spire, but it's hard to tell where it went from there. For now, we should head back to the refinery and tell Eli what we found. Right. Razor, I noticed something peculiar about the Warden Spire. It carries the same signature as St. Grand's artifact. The artifact Shade got us? But that means St. Grand was after Warden technology. I believe so. It is my conclusion that the artifact is part of the Legion's communication network. If we learn to decipher it, we may be able to intercept Legion transmissions. And then we can find where they took St. Grand. Judge, you're a genius. So how do we decipher it? Hmm. Such an analysis will take incredible computing power. But it can be done. We will need Electrum, and a lot of it. Then I will continue to the refinery. The Prospector may be able to help. Which we'll do next time when we could play this game. We're gonna treat it like we'll play say an hour, an hour and a half, maybe two hours, just schedule wise is a bit funky today. But yeah, we've we're gonna be playing this game. Alternating between Lego Marvel Superheroes 2 and this game. I will stream when I can, if I can. But yeah, this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna play some nice Oh, sorry, someone's at the door. Apologies, folks. Uh, the good old Amazon delivery guy was like, ah, oh, there he is. Perfect. Okay, cool. Package received. And, uh, yeah. I got, I have other stuff to do folks, but, but before we go, thank you all for watching, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, as every YouTuber source to say under these dark tyrannical times, I'm streaming a game that just no one's going to watch in today's, in today's climate of 2023, but feck it, it's April Fool's month, it's, it's tradition to do a Toys to Life game, so yeah, we're going to come back to this game definitely on saturday tomorrow we are definitely playing lego marvel superheroes 2 at least one level and uh, we're going to play more of this on saturday as well as christian gaming sunday on sunday well that there should hopefully there's a a game that they get uploaded to the playstation store and we'll definitely play it but we are going to be covering more of this series throughout the month I don't know how many parts we're going to do, but we're going to just do as much as we can. Because as you can see, um, percentile wise, you're like, we have all these, the dark sector, which is in there, which you need to be a higher level for. That was Haven. Right, like we have all these areas. We have all this world to f just to soak in. All of this. 
But yeah, like we we should definitely do some spires. We should just drive around. Got all space truckers. Like still missing a few things from the crash. I've added a new objective to your mission tracker. Check it out. Uh, okay. Selecting a mission. Oh yeah, because we got multiple missions. But yeah, we have ourselves. But yeah. Yeah, but, but we got ourselves a Ubisoft space game. As opposed to that one Ubisoft space game now we're going to make. Cough Beyond Good and Evil 2 Cough. It'll never come out, but... Hey, we got this instead. Sure... But yeah. Thank you, Amazon guy, for interrupting the old outro. But yeah, we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna play more. My outro is usually way too long. But uh, uh, that's it. Just as I said, thank you all for watching my uppers, cadapers, and alakazams. I've been your host, the great KDB of KDB TV. And just, you know, have a fun rest of the week. What more can you say? What more can I say? You guys. Stay awesome. KDB out.